Hi guys, welcome to this new video of FSI panel that I will show you now with iFly737 how to use the snapshot mode and as well how to use another failure and the repositioning of the aircraft. So first of all, as always, we select the airport, so we want to work today out of London Heathrow. So airport is correct, then the runway, I have the charts here for runway 27 left that we can use and now as we will prepare a snapshot, we need to have some time, so I will not use the default quick set. I will create myself a left hand vector for this ILS approach. And as you can see, we will have 8 miles final. And the vector leg is now 3 miles. This is a quite short. So we're going to extend a little bit this vector's leg to, uh, let's say, 8 miles. That will give us the time to get ready to configure the airplane correctly and then to save a snapshot for future approaches. Alright, next the weather. So we're gonna set the weather today by yourself. So the wind, we put a crosswind, then knots, then let's have a look at the visibility. We can set 500 meters. Temperature doesn't really matter. Q and H. So the QNH, let's change the QNH, you will see your FSI panel will change your cockpit as well. 1020. And we need to put some ceilings, so IFR approach, 400 feet is nice. And let's make a typical London weather, otherwise it will not be realistic. So a little bit of rain, and we set the weather. Now we are ready to move our aircraft for the first part of this tutorial. Alright, so we reach our simulator, you can see the mode control panel getting ready for you, weather set, auto brake is set, we have a landing altitude here, fair, it's gone, and you can see on your nav display that we are on the correct vector for the ILS27 left. Alright, now FSI panel is staying my control, it will now spool up the engine, trim the aircraft, And you see here, we are on the 20 degrees intercept for runway uh, 27 left in London. Speed is coming good, altitude is coming good, so FSI panel will give us the control now. Up, that's it. So now he is asking you to check all the modes before releasing the flight. So that's what we will do. So altitude is correct, you see here the QNH that we've decided before, 1020 has been set, the altitude is correct, 2600 feet. We have the auto brake set to 2. And we have all the modes course set correctly for this approach. Next thing we need to do, we need to prepare our uh, FMS. So let's do a flaps 30 landing today, set the speed. Now we will set the arrival. We want an IRS 27 left. We don't need to program the arrival, but in that case, if we have to go around, we will have the routing. So this is why I'm doing it. So I put it as a direct to the first point and for vectors in bond track 273 execute. So now if we have a look, uh, look sorry, on our nav display, you can see that we have the nice approach set as well as the go around path displayed here. All right, for the FMS, that's good enough. And now we will need to set our minimum for this approach. So CAT1 approach in London is a barrow minimum. So we select barrow and we will set the figure. Minimum is 277 feet. All right, 277 feet is set. Now we are ready to take over control. So I release the flight and you can see the aircraft is very stable flying on this intercept, heading to the ILS. Why do I program everything? Is to make a snapshot. This is what I will explain you in a few minutes. A snapshot is a picture of the actual aircraft FSI panel will take all parameters from your aircraft, save it in a file, and you will be able to do other approaches exactly at the spot, but you can change the weather 
so you will see an example later on. This is what we will do now. So uh, I will accelerate a little bit the video now. Alright, now we are fully established on the ILS so we need now to look at the altitude we want to take the snapshot, everything is set we are in a good configuration for landing so now we will take a picture of the actual aircraft parameters, configuration in order to shoot other approach in the exact same configuration so what do we do now? 2000 feet is a good figure, round figure so we'll use 2000 feet when I reach 2000 feet I will go to FSI panel and here we will just push take snapshot we choose an, e an empty slot here and we can give any description we want here so I will put we are in an ILS 27 left at 2000 feet and then we hit enter and that will be saved for next future flight. As you see take snapshots now is disabled because the uh, FSI panel is now doing all the work to save your uh, configuration so you have to wait and now it's done so now you're ready to fly so you can go back to the simulator. Uh, finish our approach here. We set a visibility of 500 meters so we can see now the approach light. Okay, and now you will land the plane and we will use now the uh, snapshot feature. So I will show you now uh, how to use the snapshot. So let's go back to uh, FSI panel. Okay, back to FSI panel. Now we want to use the load snapshot feature with a new weather. So we can change the weather as we want and still use the same snapshot as before. So we're going to put down our cost 800 and we will make it now, let's see, every time the storm and rain and we will change the q &H so you can see this feature as well. You can even import weather, actual weather or historical weather. Let's change the wind a little bit so I can land the plane 5 knots headwind and we set the weather. Okay, and now we want to have a little failure. So we will go to the failure, the few that are enabled yet, and fail a captain F is. As you can see, if we put a minus in front, it means during descent. So we'll put minus 1000, which means when we pass 1000 feet, we will have the failure executed by FSI panel. Failure is arm. Now we will load the snapshot. This is the one we want. We want an ILS 27 left at 2000 feet in London Heathrow, and we are ready to move. Back to the simulator. As you can see now, FSI panel will set everything for you. It's setting now the minimum barrow as we set it to 277 before, so this is automatically down for you now. 277. We still have caution, but they will go away, and all the modes will be set. Now the aircraft is released for flight but still under the control of FSI panel you see the engines pulling up the speed will come up and when everything will be set for you you will be asked to take over control alright so now you're back position at the right place as you can see we are 2000 feet lock and glide slope are captured the speed is good we have here our routing that we wanted, the ILS and the go-around. So everything is ready for you to fly. And the new q &H, as we discussed, 1030 is set. Alright, so now, whenever we're ready, we can hold this pause mode and we can fly this approach.
We set go on altitude 3000 feet. And what we will monitor now is the altitude as we are expecting a failure at 1000 feet. This is what we've set in the FSI panel. We decided to have uh, Captain Effie's failure in descent passing 1000 feet. So let's see what happens. If we are 1000 feet or below, we should not do any troubleshooting. So therefore, I might lose my FIS. So we should execute a go around and the first officer will do the go around. So we'll pretend that we will go around straight ahead 3000 feet to make it easy. And then we will do our checklist work. And then I will show you how to reposition the aircraft back to an ILS 27 left in the actual configuration. Means with the failure still in place. Alright, 1200 feet. One thousand. One thousand, we are stabilized, everything looks good. Boom, we have the failure, display control fail. So I have to give control to my first officer, he has to fly a go around. So toga switch, go around toga. Aircraft pitch up, flaps, one five, positive red gear up. We are above 400 feet, so we can select the heading, straight ahead. Above 1000 feet, can accelerate the airplane, flight level change, and I will take speed bug up, plus about 10 knots, so to 10 knots is the good speed. And now we can retract the flaps according to the bug speed. So now we can go to flaps 1. And flaps up. Alright, we completed the first part of this go around. The next step will be to do our checklist work to solve the problem that we just had. Captain Effie's failure is this is the problem right now, so we need to do the checklist work. Okay, so this is the checklist. We have a display control panel message which corresponds here to the checklist QRH that I've taken from the Boeing. QRH so it says to go control panel select switch both on one or both on two. So this is the switch here, control panel. So number one is failed, so we'll go on number two, both on number two. So we'll have a picture from my first officer side. And we need to check verify display control panel annunciator and altitude flag extinguish. This is the case, this is the end of the checklist. So now you can see that we need to set all the minimum on the first officer side, so we just go here to Barrow and we have 277 set. So the first officer will be flying now the airplane as he's got the right configuration and I will be monitoring the approach. So we need to set our airplane for landing now. So I will insert a new approach. We want to come back in ETRO, ILS 27 left. We will do vectors, so I put direct to the initial approach fix. 273, the runway course, execute. The course are set. We check the speed for landing, flaps 30, 137 knots, set. Nav setting, we have the right frequency on both radios, so we'll be ready to fly this approach. So I will show you now how to use the slew mode to be ready for this approach. So we are back now in FSC panel. I tell my pilots that it's my control and I want now to finish on final approach. So if I go here, 
I just put X multiple mile final and FSI panel is telling me that with my actual altitude if I go on 10 miles final I will be at the right place so that will be on the glide slope 3 degrees is confirmed for the LS in it row so 10 nautical miles final and I will use now through aircraft so I keep the aircraft in the same exact configuration as it is now I slew the aircraft so I can go back now to my simulator and as you can see the aircraft has been slewn instantly all the parameters are as before it didn't change anything and we are on final 10 miles for runway 27 left in London Heathrow see the first officer side he says to arm the approach so the first officer will be in charge of the approach so the command is on the right command B and we arm the approach we see the workload captured, glide slope armed and we are ready to release the pose and now you're flying so FSI panel put you on a 10 miles final you can see here the DME 10.8 and we were for a configured for five, 10 miles sorry so 10 miles we have the glide slope captured the speed is at 210 as we wanted and now we can start to reduce our speed and fly this approach Okay, we passed 1000 feet, we are stabilized, speed is good and we are going this time for a full stop landing So this is how you can use FSI panel for the snapshot so if you want to do any other approach, if you want now to fly with snow with tailwind, with crosswind, you just set new weather load the snapshot and you will be configured, ready to fly now you can even save a snapshot if you have a failure you can save a snapshot with an engine failure and you will be flying with one engine inoperative from 10 miles, 5 miles, wherever you want to as many times as you want so this is the snapshot mode alright, we have the approach light in sight Minimum type landing. I hope my first officer is doing a good job on this landing. He looks good. Uh, the fire off. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Very nice. Reverse. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. I will add some more, and the beta release will be out in a couple of days now. Hope you enjoy, and see you soon. Thank you.